When you pawn your wedding ring and your head is up your ass, now you're listening to the Book Even Podcast. Johnny Gasper. Daryl Schmidt. Uh, can we just do something a little out of the ordinary? Sure. And can we just start without college football and maybe just jump right into the Vikings? Yeah, please? sure, we, man. Uh, <laughs> I just want everyone to know that was the greatest game, regular season game I think I've ever seen. And, uh, I couldn't be happier. The Minnesota Vikings are, uh, they're making me very happy for the first time in a very long time. Daryl did some really elite level, um, things this weekend. So we, we watched the game together. Uh, at a bar and he was with his his lovely girlfriend and I was with my lovely wife and he he saved seats how they saved <laughs> the seats the, were, caught I caught it, it. okay good you picked it up was on this. open seat Daryl <laughs> Daryl's girlfriend open seat to just it, it just made it so it was just two it two us off so we can just fully football uh, and they can fully talk about um, whatever they would desire to talk about. And John, that was elite. That was elite. John, I'm going to tell the audience um, a little secret. Uh, I, I kissed uh, a man on the lips for the first time in my life. Life, I kissed John Gasper right on the lips after the Bills fumbled that snap at the goal line. Lucky and, me. Uh, and the Vikings. That, that was just... That was just incredible. We can we're we're gonna circle back on. This it. is officially uh, a queer podcast. But I just yeah we're in it. <laughs> hey we're we're diverse. We did it. We did it. Uh, we we made it. this. We made it. We made it. We've somehow got two white uh, guys to to really to we really this branch thing. out. I'm so thrilled. That's uh, how happy Daryl was. So Daryl went to the bathroom uh, at, at the point where the Vikings had the ball fourth and one stuffed, and they got stuffed, and, and the game was, was over. The game was over, and I just had to go collect myself. I'm like, I just I'm gonna go take a piss. I'm gonna look at myself in the mirror, <laughs> and I'm just be like, it's okay, Daryl. You can get through this. And as I opened up the door, I hear I hear a, a rattling in in the bar area, like I can hear it, and I just see my buddy John just running down. <laughs> He's like, "They didn't get in. They fumbled it. They fumbled Vikings it. scored, Vikings and scored. we went overtime. Win it. It was just just an amazing game on a pick uh, too, where like you um, scored a field goal, and then they like, and then you're like worried you're losing, and correct. then you you. He's drive. Josh Allen's driving. You're like, oh, I, well, I lost. Yeah, lost. I watched you accept defeat. I You're actually, like, I actually was cheering for a tie. I yes. was like, well, I was like, you know what? We tie with the Bills. That's I'm gonna feel very good about it. Like whatever. And then he throws, and he throws a, a pick, pick to Patrick Peterson. It is second just, of the day. If you don't like football and you don't like sports, this that that game would change your mind. That will make you a sports fan forever. That was an incredible game. Uh, and now the Vikings are uh, in the hunt for a one seed. Uh, in the NFL and the NFC playoffs, so yeah, Eagles lose, and then yeah, then you get your gift. The Eagles lose. The Eagles to the lost to the Commanders. Commanders. Like what? I mean, wh- what is happening? My new uh, Washington thing is I'm calling them the Washington Come Come Handers, uh, <laughs> and that's just that's gonna... not the most John Gasper thing I've ever heard. <laughs> I don't know what is. I sent it to all my Philly friends, <laughs> and it was a hit. The Washington Come Come Handers. Uh, all right, well we'll we'll, uh, <laughs> we'll get back. We'll go. We'll get back to the NFL, and we'll. Uh, we'll discuss that game a little bit more, but we'll start off with some college football because it was also an exciting weekend. Uh, and like we said last week, uh, everything that we discussed last week was going to change, and that's exactly what happened because happens Oregon and UCLA fall. So I the mean, Pac-12, while, while you were sleeping, the Pac-12's playoff hits took a major, major dive this weekend. USC's their only shot left. USC's only shot left, and it, it's a. They, I feel bad for the league. They have not been in in five years uh, to the playoff at all. And now it's looking pretty dire. But, you know, USC could do it. They have UCLA this week and then Notre Dame. I mean, win both those games and then beat whoever, whether it be Oregon or Utah at the end. Um, Although I do believe you predicted last week that the Pac-12 was going to cannibalize each other. And that is uh, appears to have hit a little bit earlier than we thought even possible. Um, But now the only hope for the Pac-12 is USC. And uh, I'm one of the guys that is cheering for that. Yeah, it'd be fun. I'm excited. Like a big kind of um subplot is this week is utah oregon yep and if you're usc you're actually cheering for utah because the committee already, loves you beat them when you avenge losses oh no they get to play them again that's so right the committee loves it almost like it takes it away yep so if they can get utah to like 10 and 2 they get them in the uh uh pac-12 final and they beat them right. that's going to really round out a resume mm-hmm. Um, and let's just be honest, the committee would want to see USC. They want to see USC. So it so, might not yeah. matter, but uh, anything helps, I'm sure. Um, TCU survived Texas. Uh, they Good for them, took, man. They took care of business. Uh, 
God, they were getting seven points. Yeah, it didn't make sense. And then the, for some, they have been an offensive team all year, and then they just have the defensive performance of kind of the year for them. It's One awesome. 17 3 on the road. Yep. Everyone is pushing towards Texas. Everyone was picking Texas. Game day was there. Not us. Um, but go Frogs. Um, two tricky games left for them. Baylor, uh, Iowa State. If you're, those are not, those aren't fun programs to play games against. I I have Baylor on on our uh, our picks here. Um, I believe. And yeah. again, it's two and the, a half. The spread is is uh, is it's two and a half. And it, I would be remiss if I wouldn't bring up and again. That is, if you're TCU, if you're TCU you're I mean, just... you know that the end might be near, right? Like that is Vegas screaming. It's coming. It's coming. One of these games, and um, you know, we'll see. I'm cheering for him uh, as a Michigan fan. I do want them to lose, but I also love football, and I would like to see them in the playoff. So, uh, I don't. I be- want TC. I don't want TC in the playoff. Best case scenario any... for for me, Daryl, as a Kansas State Big Twelve better, right? Happened. TCU won, and Kansas State won, meaning it is now undefeated TCU at the top, and uh, number two in the Big Twelve is you guessed it, the Kansas State Wildcats. They have two conference losses. Everyone else, let me pull it up. Everyone else has is stuck at four and three. So it goes TCU, Kansas State at five and two, and then Oklahoma State, Baylor, and Texas all at four and You're going to be able to cash in at least some money on that bet because so, you can hedge it. Yes. So because no one else probably even had them in the Big 12 championship. So. so what I need is I need Kansas State to beat. So there's two games left, though. So I need Kansas State to beat West Virginia. Yep. And I need them to be Kansas. I need to make sure, you know, they're really going to need to be seven and two, probably, I would imagine, because um, Texas yeah. is probably going to win out and they have they have the tiebreaker because Texas beat them. So we'll see. I need Kansas State to get to the final. Yeah, then you can then you can hedge it. And, and some, I can and put 500 on TCU That's and right. guarantee five hundred. And just have some fun. Yep. Yep, you're you're in. I like that. FanDuel's yet to offer me a cash out, but that's the and Big Twelve won't. recap. And the Big Ten recap is uh, I'll see you in November twenty six. <laughs> yeah, State. that's all it's going to be. Doesn't matter. Nope. Whoever wins that game is going to yep. molly whop the yes, the West is. winner. The the West is still so funny. There's a scenario where pretty much every team can get in. It's just it's an incredibly embarrassing, hilarious uh, side of the division, and it is side of the conference, and it is just embarrassing. Um, and I'm not going to watch any part of those games anymore and that especially means wisconsin so um what else we got lsu survived they beat arkansas that was a trap game for them after coming off the alabama win so it's nice that they took care of business so now right now we, the official playoff rankings come out today tonight uh so right now it's georgia georgia ohio state, state michigan, michigan tcu, TCU tennessee. tennessee and then we got lsu usc Bama, and then maybe UNC or Clemson, which so much shit would have to happen for that to to make its way. But um, John, are you feeling pretty good? Because I think you should. I mean, I need the pact. That what you know, as a Michigan fan, if you're cheering for them, you're just a Big Ten fan in general. You needed the Pac-12 to start to cannibalize, which started one yep. more USC loss, and the, that conference is out of the equation. Yes, and now it comes to. Um, TCU losing. So if TCU loses, one of these, you know, hopefully, mm-hmm. uh, uh, and USC loses, then it really does look like Ohio State, Michigan, are Ohio getting. State, Michigan, Tennessee, Georgia. That yep. really is what it starts to and look honestly, like. And honestly, I would love that. I that think that would, would be, be fun. fun. Um, and I don't know, you know, that would be there would be four teams. Two of them played each other. You know, it's kind of yep. cool, like the rematches of like I would I would assume. Um, they would make it. Yes, they're they smart. Would. Yes, they're they would. smart. It's and they a TV would do... show. They're going to play. They're so going to they... play around with the matchups. And they're going right, to play around. If those are the teams. It and will they... absolutely. It would be Georgia, Ohio State, Michigan, Tennessee. Because if they don't, then it would be. Um, right. It would be two rematches. I mean, rematches in a row. already in the semifinals. You can't really do that. But either way, I think I'd be okay with it. I think that'd be kind of neat. And here's but here's the fun part. If um, the Georgia Ohio State thing, you know, Georgia's getting in. Tennessee's most likely getting in. If Ohio State kills Michigan for some reason, let's say they put up fifty a fifty mm-hmm. burger, fifty yep. to twenty one. Yep. Um, and TCU is lost. And USC is lost. Does Clemson get in at twelve no. and one ACC champ? Like, or does that's where it's like? Does North God, Carolina get not. in at twelve? Like, that's where it could get really it interesting. Does. I, I don't want that. I, they're not good. I, I I hope what you just said plays out. Just those four. Yeah, we'll see. The odds are uh, for FanDuel, please. Uh, the best odds, negative tw- uh, uh, 20K, Georgia, and then a steep decline, uh, minus 700 Ohio State, minus 500 Tennessee, which I think is 
a, a, a lock. Minus 110 Michigan. Those are the minus odds. Then after that, it's plus 220 for TCU, plus 350 for USC, plus 400 for Clemson, plus 500 for LSU. And then our boys, North Carolina, oh, God. plus 700. And then we get into Utah's plus uh, 10,000. Um, so if Utah wins out, I mean, that's like, how can you see them getting in, there? No. They no. went out, they beat Oregon, they beat a one loss USC team. Um, they had a, who are they? Who they lost they? to Florida and they lost to UCLA. Yeah, they're not getting in. Um, so they're two losses. Nobody wants to see that. It's just, sorry, I don't want, nobody wants to see that. And it, it, it's a television show at the end of the day. They're not, they're not doing it. Yeah. So I'm okay with this. Um, although, I mean, like the, this week sets up, it's a, um, it is a, there's two huge games, I suppose. No, actually, there's probably only one huge game, and that's the USC UCLA game. I would give Utah Oregon up there just for. And then it's just like, uh, hang on. <laughs> These games are all just like. These play are by, just don't fucking just like, lose don't, games. Don't, don't, don't screw it up. Like, it's right there for and you. That's a TCU Baylor, Michigan, Illinois, you know, Kentucky, Georgia, but you know, I don't think. Yep. But let's get into the picks. All right. Yeah. First game. Uh, this is a, a Big Ten heavy hitters matchup. The number these teams are number one and two in <laughs> scoring defense in the country. Michigan is number one. Illinois is number two. Um, I love this Illinois at Michigan. Michigan is favored by eighteen. This is the eleven a.m. a.m. game on ABC. They have uh, lost two games in a row. The Fighting Illini have. They are terrible. They are. Uh, they have the nation's leading rusher in Chase Brown. Um. And they give up a little. And how's your run game. defense, John? Pretty, pretty damn good. good. Pretty yep. Good. There you go. So their one advantage is 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 running the ball, and I don't think they're going to be able to. But I'll say this, Dale. They give up twelve point five points a game. Right. Michigan gives up eleven point two points a game. That is fun. That, that is incredible. At it. Honestly, um, yards allowed. Ready for this? Michigan is giving up two thirty two. Again, we haven't really wow. played anyone. Uh, they're giving up two forty six. Um, they score twenty four a game. We score forty one. So. Michigan. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to be hammering the Michigan Wolverines. I think that I was like reticent to bet on Michigan last week and they ended up covering uh, because they drove down and scored a field goal with not a lot of time left. And Harbaugh will like step on the he gas. Does, yeah. He's, he doesn't like. He doesn't re- play with his food. He, he shoves it down your throat and yeah. it's great. We also did something. The most Michigan thing I've ever seen. We fumbled it into a touchdown. We like the guy was at the one fumbled it. And then another guy picked it up. We scored. It's like that's that how is, our offense that is, is. The most, the most, we're fumbling into touchdowns. That is, I a, mean, they're just, they're so, they're just not sexy like Ohio State and Georgia. Yes, they are. Um, not Maybe on, not, to not you, on buddy. offense. No, but no, their defense is sexy. The defense is sexy, and for that, I pick Michigan minus eighteen. Me too. Look at us. I think it's going to be a sleepy. S- similar to how the games, you know, kind of slog first half. The second half happens, and we just start pounding. But here's the thing. Their run defense is exceptional. They give up 85 a game. I think this is finally the game where we implement some play fucking action. And here's, some- here's also the season we're getting into, especially with these uh, Big Ten games. Weather is going to play a factor here yeah. going forward. Uh, it is right now projected to be 25 degrees in Michigan that day. Let's see if the boys can... Oof. So fumbling weather. I'm taking the under. It's 42 and a half. Take the under. I don't see. I'm not doing that. I don't see. I, I know you don't take unders. I, I'm done with those. I got cute with them and they did not work. <laughs> uh, although every every stat I keep seeing is like the unders are hitting at a, just the greatest pace ever. And I don't think I've won one of them. Yeah. So not the ones you. Yeah, no, hitting I, it, yeah. I'm the only one that's not hitting them. Um, all right. Game two. Number four, TCU. At Baylor, I'm a TCU Baylor. Believer. I'm a TCU believer. Catching two and a half. Um, I really Baylor just lost to Kansas State by a lot of points mm-hmm. to a backup quarterback. Um, I I just can't believe how low this spread is. I'm taking I TCU. Either. I just don't. I think they're waiting for the collapse, and these kids are. You don't go into Austin at night and hold a team to three points unless you got some serious machismo. Uh, uh- I taking, taking I agree, um, but I I do I'm buying what Vegas is selling. I'm taking Baylor. Uh, this just feels like the end of the of the road for TCU. Uh, also, this is the Gus Johnson game, the 11 a.m. Fox game. Oh god! And I don't think he has called a game where an upset hasn't happened. So <laughs> I'm I'm just going. I'm riding it. Uh, I'm 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 riding my old 
my old former defensive coordinator, Aranda Baylor, and uh, I'm I'm taking him. Yeah, it's really suspicious. It's a terrible pick. It's a uh, really heart, suspicious spread. It is. I don't doubt. I mean, it's you're, screaming at you. It just smells bad. Yeah. Um, all right, next one. Kentucky coming off a loss to, you guessed it, Vanderbilt. Unreal. In one of the biggest upsets of the year. Uh, now, congratulations. You, you get, get to play Georgia, Georgia at home. And guess how much you're getting at home? 22, 22 and, and a half. And half points. That is insane. <sighs> 230 CBS. Uh, I'm taking the under in this game. Uh, Kentucky. I think Kentucky does a slight bounce back. Um, but just... Uh, I can't in good conscience bet on them. No. Um, you can't. I just think that Georgia is getting up. They're really kind of getting up to operational mode here. Um, I'm taking I'm taking the Bulldogs. I'm also doing that as well. Um, they're only like, okay, so they're Kentucky's big test so far. So they played at Tennessee and they got smoked uh, six to, 44 to 6. They played at Ole Miss and they kept that one close. I remember that game was pretty good. Uh, and they... They beat Florida, but since then they've looked like shit. Uh, I don't. They just lost to Vanderbilt. They lost to Vanderbilt. Georgia. Just the only thing. My, the only thing that worries me just a little bit, which I don't think happens with Georgia, is that I mean they're already locked into the SEC championship. Maybe they don't. Maybe they give some some guys some playing time that maybe they shouldn't. And maybe you get a backdoor cover there, John. I mean, this is not this. I this Kentucky team is not horrible. I know they lost to Vanderbilt, but they have some dudes. Um, that does give me pause. They're at home. Maybe a bounce back game, but it's just Kentucky. Twenty two and a half is a lot it's of points. A lot of. I mean, points. that's got backdoor cover written all over it. But that means if you score um, like seventeen, yep, you know, then you're kind of good, right? And yeah, that's not that's a what lot. You think right? And they have a good quarterback. Until Georgia has. Three pick sixes in a row. Yep. Yeah. But all right. Well, I'm gonna I'm taking Georgia. But I'm I, taking Georgia. I'm taking the under. Under 49 and a half. I like it. Okay. Game four. USC at UCLA. UCLA is getting two and a half. This is <sighs> this is again a, a good very one. suspicious spread. It's gonna be I love this one of the few times in sports where both team wears the home uniform. They'll be in the the colors look great. The colors it's a it's, it's a, a great it's a beautiful game. It, it really is. It really is. Yeah. It's beautiful. It's a gorgeous piece of television. The gold, it's both have a little gold. One has blue, one red. Classic blue red yep. battle yep. with gold in LA. It's always sunny. It is beautiful. It's gorgeous. It's a beautiful game. It's not these fucking Big Ten slogs. It just no. looks good. The, the field's not just like clumpy. And shitty, like all the Big Ten school. And it's at seven. Right this now. one's at night, which is one. I always. It's usually during the day, but um. Don't so worry. There's still there right there'll now. still be a a, a a sun setting. I will shot, say, and it'll look beautiful. It will look gorgeous. It's, it's so yeah, they'll they'll show it during the. Don't pre-game. worry, Hollywood's got this thing set up. Yeah, yeah it, it'll still be. Um, we're looking at a Will Ferrell appearance here. We're Ooh, looking I like at. This. Yep. There'll be a sideline. Um, I'm taking USC as I have all year minus two Agreed. and a half. Um, if, if not just because Jordan Addison missed two games, he was back last week, kind of snap count. He'll be back in full operational mode. I think the boy cooks, um, I think Caleb Williams wants a Heisman, which I can't wait. We should talk about that. I do like that. Yep. Uh, and UCLA has a more veteran team. They're more cohesive. I hate that they just lost, but yeah, me too. Cause I that's really bad. losing two in a row. Just, I don't, they've had a good year. And yeah, that's what I mean. Like, do they, they really want to throw it away? And UCLA plays US. I mean, the, everyone, everyone at UCLA, not all of them were recruited by USC. So no. there's some, yeah, some hatred, little brother shit yeah. here. Um, well, you're I'm taking t- USC. I'm I am too. USC. We've taken them all year. Let's ride them out. Um, if 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 we didn't love USC so much this year, UCLA seems like the the smart bet here. But uh, we're so going with our hearts. So I've taken every, um, f- I've taken every favorite so far, which is yes, just you have. dumb. Which is why I'm taking in the next one. You're so dumb. You're doing it again. Our, our fifth game is a mistake that John has literally never learned anything from. Utah our, at Oregon, and he's taking the Virgins. He's I'm taking lose the again. Virgins. I'm taking Oregon. I'm God taking, damn, is he stupid? I'm taking Utah plus three. He's this so is, dumb. Last year they beat them twice so bad. I don't think. I don't think Oregon just can't beat Utah, and it's. I mean, I'm taking Utah. This is so stupid. I can't. This is going to be the funniest. I can't take all favorites. I can't be a chalk eating weasel. I I agree with that, but just know how dumb that is. Uh, I'm taking Oregon. This is John. Jesus Christ, you are 
this is a mistake. Before we move on to, I know it is. Before yeah, we got some Heisman odds. What I got, you got some, for me, baby. I'm gonna. Um, Papa's gonna log back in to <laughs> Fanduel.com, and Papa's gonna hit Heisman, and it's gonna say number one. Do you have a guess? Just for fun, guess who's number one? Um, he's a quarterback, and he. I'm guessing. I, I'm guessing it's gonna be. Uh, uh, what's his face from uh, Ohio State? Correct. C.J. Stroud, number yes. one, with by far the lowest odds at plus 125. Then it gets a little crazy. Number two, Hendon Hooker from Tennessee, 450. Mm, I like that. My boy, Blake Corum, the running back from the University of Michigan, plus 500. And then North Carolina, a sleeper team on the pod, Drake May, plus 500. Caleb Williams, suspiciously at plus 1,200. And they this is what we out. call a value bet. You throw 50 on Caleb, it, you get 600 bucks. I love that. So I'm going to place that bet uh, because he's going to um, beat UCLA, and then uh, you know he's going to beat Notre Dame. Imagine this. This is a scenario. He beats UCLA, beats Notre Dame, beats Utah in the whatever, and with all crazy games. Absolutely. Um, and those are three huge games in a row. But l- looking at this, Hendon is done with um, signature moments, right? He's South yes. Carolina, whatever. Yep. So that, that kind of, it's going to be hard for me to make a case. CJ and Blake play each other in two weeks. Yep. And you could argue that, like, if one of them, if Blake goes for like two hundred and three, or if CJ just goes for more likely, it goes for like four hundred and five. That's probably that's, like, yeah. That's why he's at plus one twenty five. Right um, now, he's at thirty four touchdowns, four interceptions. Pretty good. Pretty. <laughs> pretty good. Pretty player. good. Pretty good player. Okay. My and, boy Blake's at about eighteen and okay, what, something. And Caleb's at thirty one and two. It's pretty good. Uh, if they he's went just out. Not getting it's. This is where we East Coast bias uh, comes to, in. Well, one, yet they have to win these games. That's why. Yep, you got to win. I think that's, yeah, he has to win all of those games. Yeah, he has to win them. So if you really believe in USC, uh, then take them. Because yeah. if, if, as, if as long as they win against UCLA, the odds are going to get even better. So every 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 week, it's just his odds are going to drop just slightly and slightly. So you might as well get ahead of the curve at plus 1,200, 50 bucks on it. I like that, John. Also, parlay that with USC in the playoff. Right. Because it has to. Yeah. Because that would happen. Would, yeah. if, if you're allowed to, let me see if let you do that. And then we'll move on um, to the NFL. John, but, you cannot. I but, just tried it. You just tried it. And then what the about? USC, uh, but you could just bet on USC. Uh, no, you cannot. Yeah, won't let you do it, which is th- which is very smart of them. Which is these assholes. Bullshit. These assholes are very smart. Uh, but it's plus 350. So if you're, I don't know, maybe just. Bet on both of them. Even just you know, throw throw eleven bucks on Caleb for one thirty two. I like I it. Mean, I think that's very something. cute. It's very adorable. Do something. Um. All right, John. By the way, I saw our picks last week. So this is kind of crazy that in the NFL and college games that we've picked, we haven't had any. There hasn't been a single push. But last week we had two of them. We had two. And I saw yep. in college. I was o three and two. Daryl was one two, two and, two, and two. two. A tough little, a tough little week for us. Um. I got my parlays busted by Oklahoma losing to West Virginia. Killed me. Absolutely killed yeah. me. And I did bet a bunch of parlays of Notre Dame minus like uh, 16, and they fucking uh, just started giving up touchdowns to Navy. Infuriating. Uh, infuriating. The LSU game was the one that, that killed me. Uh, they won by three, spread us three and a half everywhere, but they were up the whole time. And I, I, just, thought, him. I just was not thrilled. Uh, you didn't need to mention that, John. I did, but that hey. was very much like uh, when uh, we were playing. Should have bet on green on roulette, and it landed on green. The guy should have bet on green. Should have bet on green. I was gonna. <laughs> I was gonna tell you that. No, I was. I was gonna tell you to put on green. I was gonna tell you. I was. Oh though. yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> fucker. Okay. College football. Excellent weekend. Slate of games. There's gonna be upsets. And, and look I, out so, for the MAC and conference next weekend. Will be will be the the wildest. And so. Daryl, just so you know, uh, tonight we have Bowling Green Toledo. Mm-hmm. And I'm taking the Toledo Rockets minus sixteen and a half, and I'm also taking um, Ohio uh, minus three and a half against Ball State. Mac, sh- that was the Mac minute for a podcast that gets released two days after the game. Correct. So, so you'll you guys know. know his picks. Yep. Yeah, you'll know what I got. <laughs> All right, we're moving on to the NFL, um, <laughs> and uh, maybe we should just start with the first one: the Minnesota Vikings. New man on the Minnesota Vikings. Oh my Vikings. God, is this great? It's just a great feeling. Um, obviously we, t- we touched on the game already, but the, the Vikings kind of, they, they put away all the naysayers for at least a week. Um, they, they went toe to toe. What, whether they won luckily at the end, like as they did, I, I just, no matter how that game ended, I was going to believe in them because they, they just showed so much fight 
they've got players all over on offense and defense that can make a big play. Um, and all this is setting up for is just a devastating loss in the playoffs because our kicker sucks, and it appears that that's probably going to be how we lose uh, in the NFC Championship, and I will cry. I think that, if anything, we're recording this right after the Eagles lost to the Washington, the Washington Come Come, come, come in, Handers. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the Washington Come Come Handers. Trademark uh, Broke Even Podcast. Copyright John Gasper. Trademark Broke Even Podcast. Come, Washington Come Come Handers. <laughs> T-shirts coming soon. <laughs> there be white. Um, I, I think that I re- it made me really kind of believe in the Vikings because yeah. I just... The Eagles weren't really looking with uh, like they had a flaw, and now it's like oh everyone's beatable. The Bills have three losses. Yep. Um, but those your NFL Super Bowl pick, pretty good. The Forty ers with yep. Christian McCaffrey, who have four losses. They look they just they're just something about they're, this team. I think they're great. You and- you really called it, and even though they've had four losses, I know they're dealing with quarterback injuries. Blah blah blah. There, let me pull this. I think they're very good. They're they're five and four. Has there been a better five and four team? No, I, I mean, think they're so good too. Their and, defense is, and you know they're going to take the division. The Seahawks aren't going to last. And you want to know what really pisses me off is that if the Vikings don't get the one seed, they'd be playing the 49ers in the divisional round, and that and that is just oh. in the wild card round, which is very disgusting because oh. I do not want that because uh, they're very good. Um, like as it stands, yeah, Eagles, Vikings. Uh, and I think almost every team in the NFC East can get in. So here, <laughs> yes, they can. And here is, and they might. Here's the Viking schedule. I'm yep. sh- no, you looked at it. Yep. And it's difficult in a way that you wouldn't think it would have been at the beginning of the year. Dallas, yes, you know, yep. ha ha, whatever. It's a great game. It's still a tough out. New England on it, Thanksgiving. On Thanksgiving, you know, they sh- you should win that. But prime time. It's you know, it's best coach in the NFL history. Uh, yeah, it's not a... The next game, which looked like a snoozer before the year, Jets, good fucking luck with that game. game. It's a great game. Good luck beating the fucking Jets now, yep. all those draft picks going off. Lions, it's a divisional game. It's at Detroit. You know, Colts, I think, are horrible. Yeah, I know they just beat the Raiders. They're terrible. Giants now. On the New York team. Yep. They look good. Yep. Then the Packers on the road, mm-hmm. and then the Bears. So it's like... On the road. These. This isn't the worst slate, but... It's oh, yeah. going to be gonna, interesting. They're not going to gonna run it. They're not going to run. They're not going to run the gauntlet and get through them all. But one game at a time, John. One week at a time. I believe in them. Um, all right. So other around the league, the Packers beat the Cowboys. So the Packers have a little bit of life um, at four and six. They do, man. You can't come out. A lot of games left. A lot of games left. I I was really hoping that the Cowboys would put the old pack attack away but they did not um but the packers are alive because that that final wild card spot isn't is not going to be you probably have to get nine wins you can get nine wins but yeah. i really hope they don't uh the buccaneers appear to be coming back to life they won a big one against seahawks in germany um the bucks have had two big wins in a row and uh maybe tom brady's getting his swag back yeah i mean they're gonna is... make i mean they're gonna make a run that's a good roster i mean they're like their defense is still very good. It's exactly. What are you gonna? What are they gonna not? I, I just can't. I just can't see them not making the playoffs in the wild card capacity. Um, I agree. We'll see. They're getting in. I. You should probably just bet on uh, them to win their division as well because the. I'm pulling up the division. I mean, the Falcons, the Saints, and the Panthers are trash, but they're all like close in record wise. But yeah, the five and five be... bucks, four and six, Atlanta, three and seven, Carolina, yeah. New Orleans. Yeah, I mean, it's yep. just that's a tire just, fire. Yeah, it's division. stupid. Um, Same with the Niners though, because it's their right. uh, one game the exact scenario. Except half, those teams are actually good. So it's the Seahawks six and four, five and four Niners because they have uh, their bye, and then four and six Arizona, three and six. Rams. And I, well pick. on my list here, I have Rams stink because they do and they are done. <laughs> and I added <laughs> That's them my to, pick there, I added them to teams that absolutely suck. List. Raise, your hand to the you, list. raise your hand if you had the Rams at three and six after nine games. That is tough. Jesus Christ. That's tough. I didn't make any adjustments to the teams that are great list. It's still Bills, Chiefs, Eagles, Vikings. And I think that <sighs> list can stay put for a while. Yeah. Might be able to add Dolphins here shortly. I like the Niners so much. They have um, they play Arizona twice, New Orleans. Yep. Um, but they do play in back to back weeks. Miami and Tampa Bay. Good luck with that. That's I think tough. they'll be okay. 
But um, yeah, it's, they better be. But they already have so many losses. That's the thing. It's like they can't really well, have. So do the other teams. Well, uh, Miami doesn't, but uh, the Buccaneers do. Yeah, but, but they don't need to win because their division's such trash exactly. that they can just kind of waltz on into the playoffs. <laughs> Um, all right, John, last week I went 4-1, and one, had another great NFL pick week because I'm pretty good at this. You, you're, you have an season. amazing – I somehow am above 500 in the NFL, which is crazy. And, John, I did, obviously I parlayed a bunch of picks together, and they all hit except for the goddamn Chicago Bears missed an extra point. They were up 14, and they can't cover a three-point spread, and they busted every parlay, and it is just infuriating. Bears-Lions games – shouldn't be they, bet on. I you're right. I'm, I'm yeah, pulling my right. hair out thinking about God, you, you taught right, me John. this. You go never bet on any Lions game. Yep. This is my fault. I have you're a, right. I have a I have a don't watch the NFC North policy. Right. I try to withhold it. I really try not to watch any of these I mean, I know you're a Vikings fan. Good. You guys are you good and obviously the Packers if they're playing. But any divisional game of the NFC North it makes Aaron Rodgers, you know, go 17-7. I mean, it's, they're so fucking boring. It's terrible. I know. But hey, I will burn that stadium to the ground. Today, because I was so pissed that they did that parlay. Luckily, the <laughs> Vikings won, so I I was able to to uh, put my my feelings to the side for a little bit. Um, all right, let's get to some picks. Thursday night, pretty good game. Titans at Packers. Packers are favored by three, which is. Do we believe in the Packers? I don't. I'm taking the Titans plus three. Do the Packers ever play on the fucking road? No. They're, only, they're always, they only always at home. Lambo. They only play home God, games. God, I'm sick of it. Uh, they play 17 home games in a row. The thing is, <laughs> that Cowboys win gave Rodgers life, and I hate that so goddamn much. And unfortunately, I think that idiot is going to ride the, that momentum because they're going to win on Thursday night. They're going to beat the Titans. Yeah, you do think they're due for a run, but it's like, I just, I don't trust them. I think that was more of a Cowboys collapse than a Packers win. They still have no weapons. That's true. And uh, Derrick Henry, that boy travels. He will... Uh, don't, don't worry, John. I already know what's going to happen. Is I'm going to bet on the Packers minus three, they're going to win by two. So I double. Correct. So I can double hurt. So you can double. Yep. yep mm-hmm. That sounds about right. Mm-hmm. Missed extra point. Yeah. Yeah. That, a I doink just, or blocked. Mm-hmm. You know, it's gonna goal. be it's gonna be devastating. Um, I yeah. don't even want to watch that game, but I will. I will. Uh, tight ship Thursdays at eight o'clock at half hour. I'll be there. Yeah. There you um, go. Nice plug. The next game, I just read there'll be potentially two feet of snow on the ground. No shit. Uh, this is our first. Buffalo's getting their first dump of the year from Mother Nature. Wow. And a fat two feet of the white stuff. Uh, wow. What might be on the field there? Browns at Bills. And Bills are favored by eight. This is a noon snowy game. Wow. And I I'm, think you have to take snow out of the factor right and now. And the Browns just got killed by the Dolphins in a game I was scared to bet on because I thought it smelled like a game there would be a backdoor cover for the Browns. I just feel like. In the snowy conditions, Nick Chubb is running. They're going to keep it close. But the Bills are dying for a win. They lost two in a row. They have, and I can say that and I'm taking uh, the Bills Josh Allen's uh, elbow probably isn't going to feel great if it is that cold and snowy. But um, I'm also taking the Browns. I that I don't. I'm like, taking the bills. Oh, you're taking the bills. Yeah. Okay. I, I take, was I was I was teasing with the very good run. tease. You got you tricked me the whole way through, baby. That was you, good. Uh, but I'm <laughs> taking. We'll, we'll split this one. I'm taking. I just think that they'll the bills will like the Browns will run and run and run and run and run. They'll have a good game, but then the bills will pull away. It's gonna be yeah, like a a, a sixteen. They to, can't really run the ball. It makes me nervous. The bills can't really run that with like consistency. They're pretty good because Josh Allen will just keep running yeah, like he just did. Run for him. Play action. Run. Yeah, he'll he'll have so many yards running. How does he? I would love to know what his forty. I will say that that watching Bills the last couple of weeks, God, Josh Allen puts some balls in play for the defense to make some plays, doesn't he? He gives them a lot of chances for some turnovers because Vikings obviously had two picks. <clears throat> that could have been three or four in that game. That uh, it, it scares me a little bit because I love yeah. Josh Allen. I love the Bills, um, but just something to keep an eye on because he tends to. Uh, Get a little loosey goosey with the ball, and maybe it's a good that he's experiencing this now in week what you know. Yeah, 10, maybe he. Yeah, he just he was a like, blip. Yeah, he could be like, oh yeah, I got to focus again. Um, all right, game three. These guys played already. An AFC East showdown: Jets at Patriots. Patriots favored by three. These guys played like two weeks ago ish, um, and they the Patriots won, and it was weird, and it was like, man, they just really have their number, and so for that reason, yep. 
I'm taking the Jets is, plus three. Wow. Flip the oh my god. Hey, this is they the NFL. have to beat them eventually. They really do. Maybe, maybe not. But they I, have their number. It's like a Michigan Ohio State level. I think the Patriots have beaten them like twelve times in a row. It's a lot. It's embarrassing. Um I'm taking the Patriots. I will continue to ride that wave. I don't like that. I don't like I think that's a perfect spread. That is a perfect spread. I have no complaints whatsoever. Can you do me a favor? Look up the I would love to know what the um over under is of that game because I want to slam the under. Um, do you okay, have a guess cuz it's um I'm going to say it's 41. 38 and a half. Yep, that's low. <laughs> and if it's and if it's snowing in uh Buffalo, it's probably going to be snowing a lot in Foxborough. Okay, Daryl, here's a fun game. Pretty close, right? What, when was the last When was the last year? That the Jets won this game. Really? Okay, so... Mm. What year was it? And again, they play fucking twice a year. That's what I mean. And they have to... And it's... And they have to play at the end of the years when the Patriots are sitting people, right? They have to have lucked out in one of them. That's a good... 20, 2016. You're very close. It was... Um, Dece- as you predicted, it was December. Yep. Uh, it was two days after Christmas. Yep. And the, and the calendar year was 2015. Yeah. And who was the starting quarterback? I bet it was Matt Castle or Jimmy Garoppolo let's or the, not can, certainly not Tom Brady. Let's look up the box score. I, I mean, that's it. just fun. Uh, I'll tell you what. Brandon Marshall. Listen to this fucking stat. This is our Brandon favorite. Marshall caught a two yard pass from Ryan Fitzpatrick. Yep. Um, Brandon Marshall then caught a 33 yard pass from Ryan Fitzpatrick. They're up 17 three, and they held on to win 26 20. Um, James White got a pass from Tom Brady, so it looked like they had uh, some dudes. Okay, so he is. Um, Do I know what Tom Brady's record is against the Jets? They've played 37 times. I'm going to say 30. You did it. 30 and 7? Yeah. <laughs> Thank yeah. you. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to give you a win there. Thank you. I'll 30 and it. 7. I Pretty was going to say what I was going to realistically say was 35 and 2. Yeah, I'm actually, I and I'm positive that some of those games are because nobody is playing. Yeah. Um, okay. Game four, very spicy. Cowboys at the Minnesota Vikings in the most disrespectful spread I've seen in my lifetime. The Vikings are getting two at home. Um, I'm going to do you a favor. Thank you. Bet against and bet us. on the Cowboys. Thank you. Because yep. every time I bet on the Vikings game, if I bet for them, yep, they lose. If I go for the other team, Vikings win. I'm doing Cowboys mom. Minus, yeah, minus two, two at wow. home. Oh, God. Isn't that disgusting? How disrespectful. <sighs> disrespect. This is a this is a the disrespect. But this is, is also kind of like a what do they know? Like yeah, y'all this are is Vegas. Due. Yep. You're due. Yeah, this you're is due. Vegas. You're yeah. due I know for a is. loss. I know what this is. Okay. I know what the hell this spread is, John. I get why it's like this. And, and now, I know it might not be it's probably spot on. And now we know you're making the Vikings plus. Yes, I am. Let's let's save without a breath. question. Now let's go to a really fun game, a fun rivalry of I think buddy it quarterbacks. It was fun. I don't think it's fun because I hate the Chargers this year. Now they've been annoying. Chiefs at Chargers. Chargers getting seven at home, which isn't really a home. This is Sunday night football. <sighs> yep. I really, really want want the. Chargers to do something. Me too. Like the meme with the stick. Like, yes, come on, come on. do something. Yep, absolutely. Um, perfect, perfect little meme. Perfect, a perfect, perfect meme. meme audio visual for us there. Thank you. You're so welcome. Um, and it's six and a half, which is like, hmm, which is like, that's pretty low for the Chiefs. They give them big old spreads, but they haven't been covering these big spreads. No, they have not. Uh, because you know how I know that I've been betting on them. Yeah. <laughs> Me too, <laughs> buddy. <laughs> oh, it's minus 10. Take the Chiefs. Win by six. Yep. Um, I'm taking the Chiefs minus six and a half because I I just think that the the season's kind of you know the the Chargers are just kind of they're, they're, they're 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 a five and five team they're not a six and four team they enter the game five and four and to me they just they're gonna lose by um a tutty and so for that I take the Chiefs even though we all know that they'll they're gonna win by uh they'll win by five. Yeah, I'm taking Chargers because of that exact reason, John. They're going to win by five. Yep. Uh, Chargers are desperate for a win. They have to win. They're desperate. They just need it. They just need to just. They just need to start piling some wins together because they just haven't. I don't know. They just look like shit, and everybody's hurt always. They're everyone is hurt always. Always is a like, very just like, funny. So Everyone's annoying. hurt always. I hate. I can't even stand it. But I'm going to take them for my last week. I'm not betting on them anymore. This is their last chance to cover. 
because the Chiefs have <sighs> killed me all season long. Um, they should get some guys back and so this have the Chargers. Week. So I'm taking the home team, even though there isn't a home field advantage. I'm just doing it. The Chargers should get some guys back this week. Um, and the over-under is 50, and I'm going over. I'm not. We're going over. <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, yeah, I know you're going over. It, this is just... I, this is a maybe... If the Chargers win, then they're kind of they're they're back. You know they can because then they got the the Raiders and the Raiders someone else shitty the next two weeks so that they could rattle off a couple wins and all of a sudden they're eight and five and you feel pretty good. How bad are the Raiders? I mean, terrible. These guys stink. they can't score. Stink. They can't. No, they're bad. Yep. And that was a lot of uh, sleeper underdog like Super Bowl picks this before the season started. So they're not that anymore, are they, buddy? Daryl, the Super Bowl odds kept. Okay. Um, the number one team still after two losses still is the Buffalo Bills plus three eighty, which is a little remarkable to me. After two it. losses, they're still. I mean, it's still a great team. The yep. regular season doesn't really matter. It matters what happens later. The Chiefs are plus five hundred, but shockingly, the Eagles, they're at plus six hundred, and they look they they're a pretty good team. Um, then your San Francisco 49ers, who is a team who's five and four, is fourth. At plus eight hundred, fascinating, okay. and then the Vikings. The Vikings. Please. Okay. The, the Vikings. I was please, about to. Please may I have I was about Vikings. to really. I was what? About to snap off here, buddy. I took no joy in watching you. <laughs> yes, you did. Like I, I felt like you've left that tease out there for a little I, too long. I, I felt no joy, and then but plus eleven hundred value bet for you. I pro- hope you get one in there, and then the Viking. Excuse me. Then the Ravens, plus thirteen hundred. I love them too, and then the Cowboys. At plus fifteen, Dolphins plus seventeen, Bucks plus seventeen, and then a huge leap, Bengals plus twenty eight hundred. That Dolphins one's a little spicy. Plus seventeen hundred for the Dolphins. They when like two has played, has he even lost? I mean, that's a great value bet. I mean, I know they lost at least two of the weeks that he was out. Like, I mean, their offense is is humming when he's playing, so that seems crazy. Cause and they just kill. And also, the they're in the driver's seat right now to win their division. Um, so I think there'd be a good looking at the AFC. Um, obviously, the Chiefs are the big dogs, but they're you know Chiefs are seven and two, and then the next best record is the Dolphins. They're seven yeah. and three, and uh, I'm I mean. I guess that's like, interesting, man. Like I agree. I'm not scared of the fucking Titans who are leaving this. Leaving no, this out. no one's afraid of. Obviously, the, the AFC Baltimore six and three, great team, but it's like Miami. Um, they beat those guys. Yeah, and that crazy yeah, game. Yeah, so a great game, incredible game. Miami's someone I would like to see what their odds are to win the AFC. That'd be fun if they could sneak by the Chiefs. Um, to get a one seed or to get out of the AFC to, to get out to just go to the Super Bowl. Let's see what those odds. I are. would imagine that it's. Plus nine hundred. That's your get. You're so close. You're so good, Daryl. It's plus eight fifty. Yep. I mean, I I like this. I mean, like I I just the favorites are not clear favorites, right? Are they? Like, do we really? I mean, this is just everyone. I mean, the best team ha- just lost two games in a row. That's how yep. just in general in the in the uh, NFL. And obviously, the Bills. I, I was remiss. I didn't mention the Bills with the AFC. Um, Championship winner, but it's you know, guess what? Uh, Miami beat them too, yeah. I so they beat the Bills, they beat the Ravens. Obviously, the Chiefs are there, but I will go out, I will go on the record and say that these losses the Bills just accumulated are probably good for them in the long run because uh, they kind of need to get brought down to earth a little bit and then they can they can use that as motivation for this middle of the season lull that they're in and then roll into the playoffs, but. But Daryl, you you put up great this next week. Um, you know, for for col- for colleges, survive, survive. This is survive mode for everyone who's looking. And now for the NFL, it's survive and don't get injured. Don't get injured. Don't get injured. Not and keep, these weeks. And keep stacking up wins because you're now um, just stack a, it. You're a game behind the Eagles because of the tiebreaker. But now it's like you know you beat. Let's say you beat the Cowboys, and then that's another team that you who it's knows pretty, you could eventually you kind of you kind of knock them out as far as like them catching you in the seating, and you just kind of yeah you just kind of build wins, and then now the Eagles have you know you guys have a, both have a very up and down. Um, they've got the Giants twice. They have the Cowboys. They have the Titans. They have the Packers. That's not easy. That's like, not an easy I agree. schedule. 
and neither is yours. Nope. Um, we just got to finish one game better than them. NFC is re- very interesting. This is a Vikings and Michigan podcast at the end of the day. And Pitt is six and four. They had back. We I can't, oh, thank, I almost forgot to mention back to back pick sixes yep. to start the game up fourteen nothing with sixteen seconds into the game. That is an incredible thing. It's the first that, time I've ever seen that happen. Yep. And that they, is uh, just a shocking. They won. They're six and four. We get seven and three surprise Duke Blue Devils at home, or excuse me, on the road. And then we finish in Miami. I was going to go to the game, but now uh, we've decided not to instead of Harry, Harry Potter land. <laughs> um, it is the dream. Um, and um, that's how how well rounded we are. We're we're Potter fans. We're NFL fans. We're gambling fans. We're beer fans. You're a Star Wars fan. I mean, we are just. I'm so excited. Yeah, I mean, I love, I love fun. I'm excited to go down to Florida and instead of going to watch Miami Pitt six and you know slap each other with pillows, <laughs> I can, uh, I can, wa- I can go to Harry Potter land. Also, the in laws got us a our own Airbnb with their Sp- Spencer's other sister and husband. It's like that's oh, so. Oh, I love that. Yep. That's mm-hmm. that. That sounds like a little magical weekend. That's really nice. Very magical weekend. Watching with Chip, who we have to mention a shout out to Chip on the podcast. He was here for the college football season yep. party, and me and Daryl were hammered talking about our bets. And I was like, "Well, this is going to happen." Like, we're the games are on, and I was like, "Well, this team's going to come back, and this team's going to come back, and this team's going to back, and we're going to win five hundred dollars." And he goes, "Yeah, but uh, none of none of that stuff is uh, happening." right now. No, that stuff's going to happen. He goes, no, that stuff's going to happen. Yeah, and you were like, yeah, and like, Daryl goes, I fucking love this yeah, guy. Yeah, Chip, just, just a, straight shooter, a straight shooter, just shot down any dreams that we had, uh, and, and that's why he has money and can afford to buy an Airbnb for his- Correct. His, that's why he knows. His, that's why he- and, Yeah. yeah. So, we're, a, we're like, yeah, we'll take the free one. He um he also, when Miami, this, I'll never forget this, when Miami hired Mario Cristobal, away from Oregon. Everyone's so excited. The cultural world's going nuts. He goes, I texted him. I was like, what do you think? He goes, well, uh, they lost to Oregon twice this year and they were total ass kickings at that, which at that is a fun, at that, at that. They were, and they were total ass kickings at that. And he was right. Yep. And now they don't look fucking they good look at terrible. all. They look terrible. They look horrible. Yes, they do. And maybe Mario isn't the guy. We'll see. That's not a bad roster. Miami was picked. If, was the uh, pick to win the Coastal. And now they will be maybe the uh, last place. I really don't enjoy the ACC at all. I just don't. But, but hey, that's for another pod that no one will ever listen to. Uh, <laughs> called Talking ACC with John. <laughs> And uh, we're not that's doing me. It. That's, that's me. My DMs. Happening. That's me and my pit boys DMing each other. <laughs> uh, All right, John. We got a we, we got a fun weekend. Here. Football. Football. Work. Make some money. Weekend some before Thanksgiving. Uh, let's uh, let's let's enjoy this. Let's have some fun, and uh, we'll 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 listen back next week, kids. We love you. We love you, uh, Daryl. You lost two hundred dollars, but what are you what are you, what are you telling your wife? Uh, I broke even, babe. I broke even. Broke babe. even, babe. I broke even. We love you. I love you guys. Bye. When you pawn your wedding ring and your head is up your ass.